Battle of the Bands is going to be tonight. And there was a big basketball game this morning. Unfortunately, Battle of the Bands is canceled tonight due to the weather, but we caught up with each band to talk about the show. You might have heard the buzz around school about Battle of the Bands. You also might have heard some of these signs. Well, you also might be wondering, what is Battle of the Bands and who's all participating? Well, I went around to talk to each band participating and our own SHS students that are running this event. Battle of the Bands is February 6th, and the doors will open at 6.30, and we'll start at 7. Our band is Right Side Down. We're the Wet Gravel. We're Femme Fatale. We are Kevin, Kevin yeah. On Tame Mustangs. Each band got involved in different ways. Um, Josh and I used to play with Cameron Meinholt, and then the rival Femme Fatale, uh, their lead singer left us, so we had to pick up some new, some new instrument players. Well, I sort of wanted to, I knew I wanted to do Battle of the Bands because I had to come back from our close second place last year. And I was like, I need a new band, new faces, fresh people. And I was like, my sister has got pipes like out the wazoo. She can sing. I was like, you be my lead singer. Amberly Sadler is like the best bass player in the school. So I was like, okay, I need you. Kendall Burks, ever, okay, if you don't know who Kendall Burks is, then literally look up Drum God in the dictionary, her face is in there, okay? Me? I mean, yeah, I'm a pretty okay guitarist, but, so I was like, let's get a band together, let's win this thing. Much the brainchild of Mr. Chromie and I, and then we found out that Mr. Davis plays trombone, and we figured, hey, you probably play, ba play bass then, too. Yeah, if you play trombone, yeah. you play bass, and play sometimes Riley. I play the bass with the trombone. And Mr. Riley, he doesn't have anything else to do. He's basically you know, kind of a shut-in, so it's a way for him to get out, see other people, you know, we feel it's kind of like helping somebody in need to let him be with us. The entrance fee money is going to a special cause at SHS. Our sales, all of our ticket sales and all of the donations that we're going to get is going to the Hefner House Fire Fund. And um, it's Candy Hefner. She is a coach for Vikings United here and she also works with um, disabled students for PE. And so they lost their house to a fire over winter break. So we're helping them get back on their feet financially. Each band has their own method about how they're going to get everyone's votes. We're just going to go out there and shred. We're you just going to have fun. We're they made it so we aren't last, but you know, it's okay. We're going to just blow them out of the water. And by the time that last band's up there, it's going to be a shame to be up on that stage. <laughs> it's going to be pretty, it's going to be fire. It's going to be flame, as Curtis yeah. would say. You know, we're going to bring the house down, be the last thing people remember. Well, um, we might, there may or may not be a celebrity appearance in one of our songs. So you're just going to have to come to the battle to see who's going to be joining us. So come to the show, ready to rock. Uh, we want people on their feet um, all night long. It is going to be fantastic. The other bands, you know, I'll give them some props. They are ready. They're ready to play. We've heard them. Um, it'll be a great night. And um, we wish all the other bands the best of luck. And we hope all, all Seaman High School comes out and sees on this great show. Battle of the Bands will be tonight here in the auditorium. Doors open at 6.30, so if you like live rock and roll, you won't want to miss out. If you haven't gotten tickets yet, they will be available for $5 at the door. Now to your daily announcements. There are only a couple ACT prep classes left. English is tonight and science is February 6th. Both cost $10. There is also an ACT power prep course on Friday, February 15th. Pick up the registration form for Mrs. Varner. Show Choir will be delivering singing valentines in the Topeka area for their annual fundraiser. Check Schoology for more information. Shawnee County Parks and Rec is searching for high school students interested in a summer job. There will be a job fair on February 18th at the Topeka Workforce Center from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Drivers be aware that 46 and Green Hills Road will be temporarily closed to one lane in the afternoons. Seniors, the Seaman High 
School Alumni Association awards uh, is awarding two $500 scholarships to graduating seniors. Application deadline is March 1st. Auditions for the Viking Variety Show is Wednesday, February 13th, starting at 3.30. Please email Diva for a time you'd like to prefer. Now over to sports after this quick commercial break. Attention! 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 One night only! Wednesday, February 6th. Live at the Seaman High School Auditorium. Battle of the Band! Live rock and roll! Doors at 6.30, show at 7 p.m. Battle of the Band! Featuring... Femme Fatale! Kevin! Right side down! Untamed Mustang! <laughs> Wet Gravel! Battle of the Band! Three dollars in advance. Five dollars at the door. We'll sell you the seat, but you won't need it, because you'll be on your feet all, all night, night long! Battle of the Bands! Do you have a gently used stuffed animal? If so, come donate one at the boys basketball game. I loved you once, now somebody else can. Come join the Teddy Bear Toss donation during halftime at the boys basketball game versus Topeka West on Tuesday, February 12th. The stuffed animals will be going to the Kansas Highway Patrol. Boys interested in playing golf, stop by Coach Blackman's room to sign up. There will be a girls swim and dive meeting today at 3.30 for grades 10 through 12 in room 911. Freshman girls will meet on Friday during seminar in the West Commons. There will be a teddy bear toss at halftime for the boys game on February 12th. For all teddy bears collected will go to the highway patrol. That's all for sports, now let's go over to Weatherman Josh for weather. All right, good afternoon. We do have some ice on the way. Really, today's ice is not all that significant, just some light freezing drizzle. But as you know, it doesn't take much ice to make things slick. I still do think that for Battle of the Bands tonight, we should be mostly fine. So come out and support. It's really after that, once we get toward 10 and 11 o'clock, that this uh, precipitation starts to become a little bit more intense. So let's take a look here at your future radar. So it's kind of this mixture of colors. Yeah, that's a mixture of freezing rain, sleet, and perhaps some snow, but probably not this soon. And this will continue through the wee morning hours of your Thursday. And then our best opportunity of snow will be right around sunrise tomorrow on your way to school. So the bottom line here is take, a take several extra minutes you're going to need your ice scrapers for sure tomorrow morning and just be very cautious on the roads because they will likely be slick tomorrow morning. Now, in terms of amounts, here's what we're looking at. Ice accumulations are probably going to be near a tenth of an inch and then we're going to add up to an inch of snow. Probably going to be less than that, maybe a half inch or so. So that's what we're looking at. Ice covered with snow, some hazardous road conditions tomorrow morning. And now for your FCTV 7 day forecast, you can see that we're looking at highs in the 20s. We will not get above freezing today, so any slick spots will likely remain, but they will stay isolated again. Come out and support Battle of the Bands tonight. Cold weather really settled in for Thursday and Friday morning. And then that's right, another winter system heading our way for the early portions of next week. There was a big game yesterday. You probably think it was the KUK set game, but actually it was the Bengals versus breakfast teams from the wrestling team. We're leaving you with the highlights from the game. Have a great rest of your day.